Hi, I'm Mitchell Carbert, Precision Farming Specialist with Tight Machinery out of Fergus Falls, Minnesota. Today we're going to be going over how to properly set up a head in our Pro 700 and IntelliView 4 display, as well as calibrating. So to get to our head settings, we hit our back in the bottom left, we hit our toolbox, and on the bottom we scroll till we find our head one page. In our head one page, we want to make sure our settings look correct. We want to make sure we have corn for our header type, our cutting type is row, our frame type is rigid or folding depending on your header, and the number of total rows and rows in use is correct for your corn head. We want to make sure we have our correct spacing, 30 inch, 22 or 20 depending on your operation. Our header center offset should be zero or adjusted if need be if your header is an offset header. Our header alarm should be on with one, two, or three as your rings. Auto cut width off, manual overlap mode should be in manual. Our work width reset mode should be in manual. And our feeder speed corn should be in full range. The one setting I did not cover on the top was our maximum working height. This should be set so when our header hits that point, our display will stop recording the data when we are turning around on the end rows. Next, we'll cover our head two. In our header two settings, we want to make sure we have our header sensors enabled and our header pressure float at no. This will allow our header to follow the contour of the ground with the sensors on our header. Our height tilt response should be normal. If a customer is in some more hilly terrain, we'll want to set that to fast. Our pressure float override should be somewhere between 8 and 10%. Our auto height override should be no. Auto header lift should be no. The recommended start rates for our, our raise rate, our lower rate, our height sensitivity, and tilt sensitivity should be about around 130, but those can be adjusted as necessary. If we get into more hilly terrain, we'll want to up the sensitivity. If we're in some more flat ground and we want the header to move less, we can lower that. But the recommended start is 130. Real speed and real speed slope won't make a difference for this head unless you have a reel on it. These are more so settings for your bean head. The only other thing we would want to make sure on our corn head would be our reel end dividers if we have them and our deck plates. We we'll want to make sure our header lateral tilt is on, our auto tilt is on, and our auto level in the headland is on. Next, we'll show you guys how to calibrate. So from our main screen, we're gonna go ahead and get this head calibrated. We're gonna hit back in our bottom left. We're gonna hit calibrations. We're gonna find the calibrate button tab on the bottom. And our header is going to be, our calibration is going to be our header. So from here, we're going to simply follow the directions that the combine gives us. We want to make sure the combine is parked on nice level ground and running and make sure our oil reservoir is full and our red operating temperature. Next, we'll pulse the head down. Sometimes you will have to roll just gently forward to make sure those sensors do grab the ground and don't get caught up underneath and cause the calibration to fail. Next, we'll pulse our header switch up. We'll pulse down again. Some of these steps may take a little longer or a little shorter depending on your combine and header as they are all a little bit different with weights and the sensors. So just be patient with all of the calibrating steps. Once we have the calibration complete on the screen, you're able to go back to your run page uh, and you'll have successful header height operation. Next, we're going to briefly go over how to set our header heights, our head one and two, with our resume to cut, um, and go over so we have our header floating to follow the contour of the ground. For our head to float, we're going to engage the rotor. We're going to engage the header. We are then going to raise and lower or lower our head for our three heights, our headland height, our cut one height, and our cut two height. So if we raise the header for our, get our header set to our number one height, 
we will press and hold the number one button until it beeps. Once we have done so, we can lower our head to our cut height number two. At that point in time, we can set our number two height. Once we have done so, we can press our resume to cut button on our propulsion handle. And at that point in time, our head will be floating. You can press the resume button to go back and forth between cuts one and two. And for your headland, when you turn around, you'll press the trigger on the back as well as our resume to cut to go into our headland mode. Once we have our heights one and two set with our resume to cut, uh, our head will float and follow the contour of the ground. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to how to correctly set up our settings for our head, how to calibrate and to set our header heights. That's all. Thanks.